Hey there, it's Justin. Answer your questions from joinsifi.com slash knock. Today's question is, what kind of experience level do you need to interview for jobs? Now, this is what kind of experience do you need to get jobs? Because you can interview at any level of experience, to be honest. But what type of person are you and what type of candidate are you? These are the things that you really need to worry about because whatever experience level you have, once you get in that job, you might not have enough of that experience to really execute super well at that job. So what I would say is when you're going to interview, you want to show the interviewer that you, number one, value growth, that you want to get better and you're there to get better better. So regardless of what level of experience that you're at, you're looking at the person interviewing you, which would probably be your boss. You're looking at them as a mentor to get better and you're going to do whatever it takes to do so. Now, of course, when you enter these interviews, you're going to want to have some baseline skills. So of course, I recommend if you're doing Python, learn as much about Python as you possibly can and constantly be interviewing because the thing about interviewing is you might have to do a hundred before you find the right job. And when I'm saying the right job, this is anywhere in the world and you need to decide what's the right job for you. Now, it doesn't mean that it's a high paying job. It might be a culture thing. So you have to understand why you want a particular job and what is it that you're trying to get from that job. So what are you learning from? If they ask you, what do you want from this job? And and your answer is simply in the back of your mind is simply money. That is really sad, first of all. The second part of it is it really should be about learning and growth. When you go to work at a new organization or you work with anything new or new people, it should be all about learning and growth. So the timing is going to be different for everybody. But for me, if I was going to go work at a job, if I was going to get a job right now at any level, anywhere for any skill, the number one thing I would tell them is I'm 100% passionate about what I'm doing, what my job role is. And I'm looking at you, the interviewee, as being a mentor and guide to get me to that next level. That is why I'm coming to you. That is why I'm here at this job. It has nothing to do with the paycheck. Now, I value my time, so I will demand a high paycheck. I will demand what I think my time is worth, especially at that skill level. Here's another example. Let's not even talk about code. Let's let's talk about just some other skill that I just simply don't have. Let's say, for instance, I want to help build houses. My skill level is zero in building houses, like actually physically building houses. Sure, I know how to cut wood, I know how to saw, and I know how to like hammer things and stuff like that, but really it's zero. So my time is really worth the manual labor of moving things around, which in some cases might be $5 an hour, in other cases it might be $12 an hour, but it's not very high, right? So I can't go in there and demand $35 an hour and expect that I'll get that right away. But what I would say is me, myself right now, as I would go in there saying, look, I'm super passionate about this job. I will start at whatever level you think is right, as long as it's fair, um, especially given the level that I'm at. But I want to have regular intervals of like taking a look at my progress. And if I reach certain benchmarks on this progress, then my pay scale will go up accordingly. And you know, the greatest part is if it doesn't, but your skill scale goes up huge, you can go to another job. That's one of the greatest things about working in the United States and in other places around the world is that if you move here, you can actually get into that environment where you can go and harness as much skills as possible from any given job and then switch jobs if the current one is not rewarding you for the skills that you're putting out. Now, let's let's be clear about this though. And so when we're talking about rewarding, you have to remember value. If you're actually creating a lot of value, then of course you should be rewarded for it. But if you're not creating a lot of value and you've just been there a long time and you got really efficient at your job, that doesn't necessarily mean that you deserve to make a lot more money, right? So a big example of that would be, let's say for instance, I was um, passing out flyers door to door. And eventually my flyer passing out got so good. I was just like the best flyer passer out there is. I did better than everyone. I could do it twice as fast as everybody else. Well, there's only so much value to actually passing out these flyers. There's like a ceiling as to how much the flyer passer out could possibly do. You might be really, really good at it, but you're not creating enough value for the organization to get paid very well. So in order for you to 
move up the pay scale, you might have to learn a brand new skill and move to another direction. That's of course why I teach people how to code. I think, I think that's one of those things that can help you move up that pay scale quickly, whether it's with a job or building your own business. But the whole thing there is creating value. It's all about creating value and, and learning the skills necessary to, to, to create that value. So hopefully that answers your question. There's a lot more that we could talk about there. So if you do have more questions on that subject, please ask them on joinsafe.com slash knock. So really good question. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.